week we're making plexiglass layered art. That's 3D. The first thing that I did was to do some experimenting on the plexiglass to find out what would stick to it. I cleaned one half of this plexiglass with rubbing alcohol to see if that would help things stick. And then I tested alcohol markers, Posca pens, and acrylic paint on it. I went across to make sure that the rubbing alcohol wasn't making any difference and the difference was negligible, not really any difference. And I was discovering that it was hard to do any blends with the alcohol markers because they would just melt off the previous color. And the same thing with the acrylic paint. I was having difficulty blending. So I ended up just basing. The acrylic paint went onto the plexiglass really nicely. So once it was based, then I could paint anything on it. So I just did a base coat and then some wet blends. The Posca pens worked really, really well on plexiglass. Posca pens. <laughs> and then I tested Posca pens on top of the other painted surfaces. Let me put the swatch thing on the window and I think part of it kind of looks like a creepy face. You think? Mm-hmm. Once the testing was finished, I drew my design on four layers of plexiglass. I drew it on the peel away plastic on one side. I only peeled the side that I was painting on and then I drew on the opposite side and that way I could peel off the drawing when I was finished painting. Sam and Ty both drew theirs in Procreate, and then we printed each layer separately, scale, so that they could trace the layers that they were gonna draw, and then some of the layers we just used the printouts. I noticed that you used the, was it, it's a mesh warp tool in Procreate? I don't know what it's called in Procreate. Warp. <laughs> I was yeah, impressed, that. I didn't know you knew how to do that. That's super cool. <laughs> so what's your theme, Samo? Ocean. Yep, so you're drawing fish. You just drew jellyfish, and this is an octopus. The dots on the tentacles are for me counting the tentacles. Because you had to make sure you had eight. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. I'm adding suckers. Yeah, I was impressed with your suckers. <laughs> I think your sucker game was on point. And then I cut out my trees. Mine is a spooky, magical forest. Yeah. So we printed what your background, and then this is your mid-ground trees. And you cut them out with an X-Acto knife. That's the most There's fun you can have, right? right? Cutting out intricate things with an X-Acto knife. <laughs> Once my first layer dried, then I went in and did some shading. So mine is a hand that's got a multicolored paint splatter hovering above it. Mm -hmm. I did the hand entirely black and white, and then the paint splatter is going to be color later on. And I'm not sure why I did it that way. I love it that way. I think it looks super cool, but I didn't have any deep meaning or anything behind it. I just did it because I thought it would look cool. So <laughs> yay! I think it's magical paint powers. Magical paint powers? Maybe it's like in a black and white universe. Maybe. And then they're bringing in the magic color. Mm-hmm. To make it this universe. Oh. That's how the color came here. Yeah. We used a glue stick to glue you guys' cutout pieces onto the plexiglass, and uh, it was an old glue stick, and it was a dry glue stick, and boy oh boy. It dried fast. Yeah, it was not cooperating at all. Both of you guys, your pieces were kind of curling all over the place, so I think maybe we should have used some spray adhesive. That would have worked really, really well. It's just a I... pain in the booty, and we would have had to take it outside, so. This is the foreground spooky magic element. <laughs> spooky. I'm coloring my fish. Yeah, so you drew them on in Posca pen. We printed each one of your layers that you had drawn on the paper, and we had those boxes. We printed them scale so those boxes, we could line up the plexiglass. So you got them exactly where you wanted them. And then chased. 
I was noticing, see the reflection? You can see that you were wearing your crown from last year's Halloween costume <laughs> that mm -hmm. we made. Because I really like it. And then in the reflections of Tyler's, when there's plexiglass back, you can see that she got a haircut. <laughs> we cut a foot off of your hair. <laughs> Actually, more than that. She went from hair that went all the way down her back, she's always had long hair, to very, very short hair, and it's adorable. And she, she likes maximum poof. She looks like an anime character. <laughs> She's a dandelion! Yep. People say that my hair looks like a mushroom. Yep. I'm adding a little magical portal light thing. I don't know. In their original drawing, I just had like a black fade in that area, but the print was very dark, so you can't see it. So I added the weird purpley magical light. Yeah, I like the light because it makes the little guy stand out really well because he's black too. Here we're stacking them to experiment to see if the layers are working and then you added some more highlights. The way we were assembling them was with magnets so it was easy to take them apart and put them back together again a bunch of times. And look, you can see my hair. Yeah, that was your hair. Poof. I just did my paint splatters with Posca pens. And there's Sam fighting with the glue stick. <laughs> Your pieces were smaller, so it was a little less troublesome. And then I added some highlights and shadows to my splatters. It's very graphic and not very realistic, but it still turned out really cool. And this is putting the magnets on. So we've got these flat magnets and we stacked them up, put one underneath the first layer of plastic and then stacked three and then put another layer. happy with how mine turned out. It's just this magical forest and then this kid decides to go in and check it out. I think maybe it gets lost in there. He's walking into the portal. I like how the swirly portal thingy turned out. Mine is just an ocean. One of the jellyfish, the squash looking one with the tides closed, it's doing the squash thing. You know how jellyfish move? Yep, they squish and stretch. Mm-hmm. I love how yours turned out. Do you like how yours turned out? Mm-hmm. The black and white universe thing is reminding me of Wanda because it's black and white. I think it looks really 3D, which is what I was going for. It's tricky to know which parts of the hand to put on what layer. And it looks a little strange when you come around the right side, but I like the 3D splatter and I like the 3D hand. I think it turned out the way I wanted it. I'm pleased with the results and it was fun to do. Mm -hmm.